All right, and another concept as it relates to, you're not always going to be given um, the slope and the y-intercept. In most cases, you might be given the slope and a point, or sometimes you might be even given just two points, and you have to find the slope. So we, we have an equation uh, that's called point-slope form of the equation of a line. All right, now notice, look at your equation. They gave us slope. They gave us a point. So point slope equation is y minus y sub 1. Now, distinction. Notice the subscripts, okay? They didn't give us x, and they didn't give us y. They gave us the slope and a point. So in a point is an x sub 1 and a y sub 1. So when you go to substitute into the equation, make sure you substitute for x sub 1 and y sub 1. All right, now you can actually take it a step further if you want to go from um, point slope form. And let's say we want to take this a little step further. And we want to go x intercept form. All right, all we would do is simply manipulate the point slope form, and we end up with y equals slope times the difference of x and x sub 1 plus y sub 1. All we did was pull the y sub 1 or add it to both sides of the equation. Okay, so let's look at this example. It says write the equation of a line through the point 3, negative 7 having a slope of 2. All right, so label everything. All right, now my point slope form is y minus y sub, two, sub 1 equals slope times the difference of x and x sub 1. All right, so now that's my form. And all you do is you substitute. You say y minus y sub 1 is negative 7. And again, with negative numbers, go ahead and use parentheses. Equals our slope in this case is negative 2. All right. We don't know what x is because that can vary. But we know x sub 1 is 3. All right. Now we're going to clean up the double negatives on the left side of the equation. And we end up with y plus 7 equals negative 2 times x minus 3. All right, now this is what you call point slope form. Now, if that's what they ask you for, you stop right there. That's it. Just that simple. But in most cases, they may ask you to graph this line. So it's just a follow-up, okay? So we're going to go one step further. So let's draw a little line. Now, if they want... Uh, slope intercept. All right, no problem. All you do is you take that first equation, y plus 7, or point slope, form of the equation of the line, and we're going to, all we're going to do is manipulate just a little bit. So I'm going to subtract 7, subtract 7. Now, if you subtract this 7, Notice that negative 2 times x minus 3, that's in parentheses. Just throw minus 7 on the outside. All right, now you can distribute so you end up with y equals negative 2x plus 6. And then you've got minus 7 on the outside. And the final form is y equals negative 2x. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. All right. And so that's your slope intercept form. Now, the question will dictate which form that they, they want for that equation of that line. If they say point slope, you give them point slope. If they want slope y intercept you give them slope y intercept and then if they ask you what's your slope 
Real simple. Slope is negative 2. All right? My y-intercept is 0, negative 1. Now, if they say what's the y-intercept and they don't tell you, they don't want to point, then you just you go with negative 1. But as a point, it's 0, negative 1. And that's how you use point slope to find, find the equation of a line.